cucumber salad. Yum. Um, this one is going to be with uh, soy sauce and horseradish and some ginger and some garlic. And uh, But first I got to cut up my cucumbers. I'm using two um, hothouse. I like the hothouse ones because you don't have to peel them. You can go ahead and use regular ones, but I just find these more crunchier. I like, I like the taste of these better. So first I'm going to cut off the ends just because they've got a root on them. I'm gonna cut these in half so it's easier for me to actually cut them. And then I'm gonna cut them in half again. Like so. And then I'm going to cut them in about, I, we like them like a half an inch, just because we don't like them soggy. Leave that one a little bit more. Or if I make room, I'm going to put them in the bowl. So, this is like an easy side dish for pretty much anything. It's just a quick little salad. It's fresh. cut up chunkies. I have seen um, some people do cucumber salad where they cut it really, really thin. And to each his own. We like our stuff chunky. Now we're going to put our ingredients in. So we're going to do garlic. We're going to do two tablespoons. Maybe a little extra. <laughs> Never hurt to have too much garlic. Olive oil. Let's see if I can do this without. Um, sorry, the boat's rocking out. <laughs> Probably hear the wind outside. tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to do three, tea three tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm using this as stability here. do some horseradish, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that in there. Probably not. I think I'm going to do teaspoon. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to put my one teaspoon of ginger. Ground ginger. Just makes a whole world of difference in flavor. mess going on over here. And since I'm going to be using this, I'm going to be putting in two tablespoons, so I'm going to have to do six of these just to kind of, because three teaspoons equals one tablespoon, because I can't get my tablespoon in there. But that's all right. Well, that was a little bit more, but we like horseradish around here. It's so good. That's four. pepper. As you notice, I'm not putting salt in this because soy sauce has got enough salt, so you don't really need no salt. About a teaspoon. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to mix it up. This is how I do it. 
put the lid on it and I gently shake it. If I can get the lid on. There we go. I'm just trying to get them coated. and coated. Just made a mess. <laughs> oh well. Make, making a mess in the kitchen. And you're not really cooking, are you? And now we're going to put this in the refrigerator for one hour. But this is my tiny little refrigerator. <laughs> See my tiny little refrigerator. <laughs> so we're going to do that for one hour marinating and then it'll be ready to serve. Okay, so it's been an hour, and we're gonna take it out, <clears throat> and we're gonna check it out. Mm. It's all been marinated, it's perfect. So this is our um, cucumber salad, horseradish and soy sauce. I have some other cucumber salads out there. Go check those out because we like cucumbers. So, um, yeah, um, I have a bunch of other recipes. Go to ChrisDoesWet.com or DiningInWithDanielle.com and you'll find all my... There's just a lot. We have chicken and pastas and, and slow cooker meals and all kinds of stuff. Um, been doing it for like four years, so, yeah, we have a lot of... We have a, you'll see different kitchens, too, you know. This is my more permanent kitchen for now. Uh, yeah, so also uh, check us out on our social medias. We have um, uh, Instagram, Tiny with Danielle, and Chris Does What, and Facebook, Chris Does What. Yeah, go check us out there too, because we post other stuff too. So, so yeah, like, subscribe, comment. We like to, um, uh, we like feedback. We like to see how you, if you guys cook it, we want to know. How you guys liked it. Um, yeah, so this is going to be part of our dinner tonight. Mm. Salad. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys next week or in a few weeks. Bye.